vocals and a sensual stage presence, it's rising star Kali Uchi's time to shine. The Grammy Award winner is dominating the charts and now dominating the stage, too. ABC contributor Roxy Diaz spent time with the American Colombian singer songwriter just a few hours before the first of two sold out shows at Radio City Music Hall. Entrancing, sensual, and luxurious. Grammy Award winning Colombian American artist Kali Uchis is captivating fans across the world, becoming a global sensation while paying homage to her Latin roots and remaining true to her artistry. With genre bending hits like Telepatia and See You Again. Can I get a kid? Kali is breaking industry standards and is now among the many great artists to play at the legendary Radio City Music Hall in New York City with two sold out shows. I had a chance to spend time with the 28 year old to talk about her road to the top hours before her performance. Radio City Music Hall, like it's huge. Frank Sinatra, Mariah Carey, Lady Gaga, Diana Ross, like your name are now amongst the people that have sold out here. Has it hit you yet? Honestly, I had no idea because since I'm not from New York, I didn't realize until people from my friends from New York were like, no, this is major. This venue is so iconic. Carly Marina Loaiza, born in Virginia and raised between the U.S. and Pereira, Colombia. Her family constantly traveled back and forth, the songwriter absorbing the differences in culture that would soon influence her artistry. We were supposed to stay living in, in Colombia the rest of my life. That was our plan. So I kind of had to relearn what it was like to live in the United States. I had to relearn a lot of, because I was so young. Kali <laughs> found solace in music, expressing herself through poetry and directing music videos. When did you first know you wanted to do music? I realized what... I was gonna pursue probably when I was like a senior in high school. Okay. And because that was when I really had to start thinking about whether I wanted to pursue, you know, going to college or what I wanted to do in my life. I mean, my whole life I had been writing poems, I had been recording songs, and um, I was in jazz bands, I played saxophone, I played piano, so I was always a musical person. Mm -hmm. How did that play with their family when they found out you wanted to pursue music? Like, I can just imagine, most of most of our Latin parents, they're like, no, yeah. you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna be a lawyer. Yeah. You know, you say you're gonna do me, eso no te va a dar comida, eso no te va a pagar, you know, so yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, the main reason why we brought family to the United States and came to the United States was in order to like get an education. Um, my dad had a fourth grade education and he grew up in the streets, so it was really hard for him to understand why I wouldn't take advantage of, you know, being able to go to community college. So it was definitely, I think, I think it's hard for any parent to understand that first because it's, it's such a risky job. Gali stayed true to herself, creating music in both English and Spanish. I want all small artists to know that you don't need to be just in one category, one genre, one language. And was presented with the Variety Hitmakers Crossover Award in 2021. This year marks five years since the release of her elusive, critically acclaimed debut album, Isolation, taking fans to her world with Tyrant. And After the Storm with Tyler, the creator. The singer released her highly anticipated third studio album, Red Moon and Venus in March. and plans to release her second Spanish album later this year. Do you really identify with a crossover artist as a label on you? When I was first working on Sin Miedo, which was my second album, but it was my first Latin album, everybody, um, you know, the label, they were very against it because they're like, you're not gonna be able to translate to the Latin market. But for me, like I said, growing up bilingual, I'm like, that's gonna be inauthentic for me to just keep going in English and so they told me, they're like, we're not going to support you at all. I was like, okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's really it's what I really, really want to do. I'm going to do it. There's no denying Kylie's impact with over 29 million listeners on Spotify and her bilingual track, Telepatia, streamed over 800 million times. 
The fact that you were able to open up this lane, do you feel more pressure now? No, I still don't feel pressure. I don't think that my idea of success or my goals and my ambitions have ever been tied to numbers. My goals and the things that I wish to do are more so tied to not compromising. Mm -hmm. And I think that the person who really wins is the person that does whatever they want to do every day and really is happy. But you do compromise with your fans because they were in an uproar when you first started this tour and they weren't happy with the set list. You actually <laughs> changed the set list no, for but, your okay, fans. No, okay, this is what they need to understand. <laughs> I started the tour having no rehearsals for the tour. So I had to basically figure it out as I go along, mm -hmm. which is always kind of what I was planning to do. So the first few shows was kind of, in a sense, like my rehearsals. So I tell them like, don't think that you bullied me into changing the set list <laughs> because the set list was gonna change regardless. Thousands lined up outside of Radio City, eager to watch the show-stopping high femme fantasy come to life. <laughs> Some even breaking out in song. Kali, I love you. Thank you for inspiring me to love my body and love me for who I am. You guys came all the way from Minnesota yeah. here for the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. How long have you been planning this? For like a month and a half. Oh my yeah. gosh. Kali transporting fans Kali Uchi. into her fantasy world of glamour. You come across as such a very shy, I am shy quiet, yeah. timid person, beautiful, but then you get on stage and it's like a whole nother being up there. It's like a different Kali. Is that something that you just keep yourself private? Um, I think there's just a lot of different sides to me. Like there's, you know, um, are you a Gemini? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a cancer, but I think, um, I feel that there is there are so many different dimensions that I'm able to really express myself fully when it comes to music and when it comes to performing. You promise to stay yourself and true to that, true to your sound. Yeah. How do you plan on doing that? Yeah, I think just forever. I think the most important thing, I think intention. Everyone has different intentions for why they do what they do. Somebody, some people, a lot of people might make music to become rich, to become famous. Other people, I think, really want to contribute something to the world deeper and more meaningful than that. And I would like to think that that's the type of artist that I am. And that as long as I continue to retain that, that intention, that my music will never be compromised. <laughs> will never be compromised. Our thanks to Roxy for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.